Hello, uh, me again. For today's review, I had hoped to do a um, compilation review of a bunch of films that I saw over the weekend, but uh, I haven't seen all of them yet, partly because of, uh, well, largely because of uh, a flat tyre. So I had to come up with an alternative, and as a lover of film and um, a filmmaker, a constant question, or a frequent question you get asked, um, is your favourite film of all time, which is a very difficult question to answer, for anyone that knows if they get asked it a lot. Um, because you just, how do you quantify these things? So instead, I thought I'd try and post my top five uh, list of films. So the qualifying um, factors for this list is the films I most watch, I watch most frequently. Um, basically, when I feel like, oh, I want to watch a film, I'll pick one of these off the shelf and just kind of put it on, just because I, I know I'm going to enjoy it. So the, the, I, by that degree, they, they logically must be the films I love the most. Uh, honorary mention, before I get started, to um, Marx Brothers. Marx Brothers. There aren't any Marx Brothers films on this list because if I put one on, then I'd end up probably filling the entire list with Marx Brothers films because um, I'm a big Marx Brothers fan. Um, so yeah, I couldn't put one on without just doing a list of top five Marx Brothers films, <laughs> which I could do, which might have been just as interesting. But yeah, no. Honorary mention, Marx Brothers films, I, I, I watch them a lot, a lot more. I love them. Number five is uh, Silence of the Lambs. Oddly enough, Silence of the Lambs is a film that wouldn't have made this list under any other criteria, I don't think. Because it's not something I would automatically say, I love that film. But, of this list, it's probably actually the film I've, I've watched the most. Um, I'm, I'm always watching it. I, I, just, I don't know why. I just, I just don't occasionally think, oh, I want to watch a film. I just put Silence of the Lambs on because, I don't know, for some reason, <laughs> I just watch it a lot. I, don't, I wouldn't, like I say, I wouldn't qualify it as one of my top films in, in any other um area but yeah no i watch it a lot so it just kind of has to go on this list it's just number five just because i'm not sure why it's why i watch it so much sounds alarms for anyone that doesn't know um i'm not sure why you wouldn't know uh, is a is a book based on the thomas harris novel of the same uh title i believe should look that up uh is that about an fbi agent having to consult a um serial killer the iconic hannibal lecter um as played by anthony hopkins who's who's just one of those all-time villains you know the character without having seen the film it's like not isn't you know you know who that character is even you know like you know who darth vader is if you've never seen star wars you just know these characters and that's just an iconic villain of hannibal lecter maybe that's why i love the film but yeah it's it had, consulting him all the brilliant sort of back and forth that they have so she's trying to catch another killer but the film is about hannibal lecter really you know you know that you know it's, the other killer is just a, just a side note it's just a reason you know buffalo bill is just a reason to get Hannibal Lecter into the film, really, more than it is. Bless him. It is really good. It, you know, it, that storyline is good as well, but the whole thing yeah, works really well. Number four is going to go to Rock and Roller. Um, I'm a little more fan of the of the fake jokey gangster than I am of the real gangster. Um, and I, whilst I recognise that Tarantino does this better, uh, Rock and Roller is kind of standard Guy Ritchie gangster romp, just sort of fun jokey gangsters getting into fun jokey gangster scrapes which i'm sure is about as um, reflective of, of real gang life as bugsy malone is but uh yeah no it's 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 just kind of just kind of fun uh, number three is going to go to the world's end uh, which is obviously a new film i mean when it comes to the cornetto trilogy i think odds are most people would of their favorites would probably choose hot fuzz uh, and probably people, would, I wouldn't be shocked to learn that people put World's End at the bottom of their list. But I really loved it. Um, it I, I just enjoyed it on every level. And I'm not, since I got it on uh, DVD at Christmas, I think I've watched it like four times or something. And I just, <laughs> I just, I just really like. It. I love all of the, the, all three of the films. But yeah, World's End for some reason just, I just, I just really got, and it, and it's really good. Um, it's about um a group of friends coming back together after a long, long time. Um. To, to go back to their hometown and do a pub crawl, only to discover that their hometown has been invaded by aliens or taken over by aliens. And it's just, uh, it's, the, it's all the silly comedy fun that you expect from, um, you know, the, the guys who made Spaced and Shaun of the Dead and all those films. It's, if you like that, you know, you're not going to be disappointed. Okay, if you like those guys, you're not going to be disappointed by this film. But I get that a lot of, I don't, I'm not sure why, I, I do kind of, like I say, I understand why it would often fall at the bottom of people's, the Cornetto trilogy list. Because it's quite it's quite subdued, I suppose, compared to the others, and it's I don't know. I just think I I think personally think it's funnier than the other two, 
but it's it's yeah it's not as out there it's not as sort of amped up i guess as the other ones are it's, it's not quite as interesting a um a genre either in many ways so that's that's on my list for for most watch i don't know if that will i don't know if it will still be on my list of most watch films in another year say when maybe the novelty's worn off but right now i love it number two is going to go to brick which is my sort of artsy fartsy film it's about as art brick is about as artsy fartsy as i get i don't really not that not really a film student if you see what i mean i don't like too much nonsense i like entertainment in my films um but brick yeah brick i really love because it's a brilliant twist on the noir um genre uh set in like a in a, in a high school uh, i do recommend you you check it out so he takes that detective genre and outlook and injects it into this high school atmosphere where they're kind of dealing with relatively well they're dealing with drug dealing but it's got that relatively trivial feel to it of the high school drama and it's a high school drama detective story i think all the characters fit into these these sort of high school archetypes and it's, it's yeah no it's, it's very cool um from the director of uh of, of looper the guy made he made he well he's obviously just made looper didn't make we made brick first now he's made looper My number one is, anyone that knows, has ever asked me this question, probably wouldn't be too surprised to find that my number one is Fight Club. Fight Club is the film that was going to be my number one no matter what. Fight Club is my number one no matter what the qualifiers for favourite film are. It's always, it's always top of my list. Whatever the, you know, the, the, the necessary factors are needed, the, it's, it's there. It's, got, it's just my perfect movie. Um, I love it on every level. It's, it's, I can't, there's, nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. The way I tend to qualify... Um, some films is that I just can't think of anything I would have done differently, and Fight Club is just uh, just a film that I don't, can't think of anything that could have been done differently. It's it's just brilliant on every every level, um, so it will always be my number one of every top film list. Fight Club, Fight Club, love it. So it's about Edward Norton's character who has no name. He's just referred to as the narrator or um, Jack sometimes. So that's ne no, you never find out what you never find out what his name is. Um, having this kind of existential crisis and he meets uh, brad pitt's character who uh, essentially is is freewheeling and, and they end up setting up the, the fight club which is these guys get together and just beat each other up in order to try and feel something i suppose or in order to try and feel some worth as a as a, as in that sort of tribal understanding of being a man i won't i can't I won't talk about it too much i don't want to you know, do any spoilers because it's got one of the great all-time twists um because you're so the twist in it is really obvious, but because you're so wrapped up in the world of the film, you kind of you don't you don't expect it coming. You will do now because I've ruined it for you, but um, yeah, it, it's, it sort of comes out of nowhere because you're so caught up in this complex story and the twist isn't really part of it. I do a video at some point about what makes a twist work because I have a quite a few opinions on that. I do I've got other things to say on the um, and Fight Club. I can relate to other things as well. Now I will do a later video, uh, not this week, maybe maybe next week. Um, about Fight Club, just because it is, I just do love it so much. So I won't say too much now, but um, yeah, no, no, keep an keep an eye out for that. Yeah, those are my top five um most watched films, films that I I just watch can watch over and over and over again and be perfectly happy. I mean, is that like I say, they're not necessarily my favorite films, not most my most probably the not necessarily what I would classify as the best films, other than Fight Club, not necessarily what I would classify as the best films ever. Um, but yeah, they're definitely the films that I watch the most. Um, so whatever whatever that means, obviously on some level, I love them more than anything else. Thanks for watching. Um, click the like, subscribe to my channel to, for more stuff, or to keep keep up with stuff. Um, find me on Twitter, find Flitter Films on Twitter, and find Flitter Films YouTube, which I'll be links to. Um, and yeah, Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff, and click the stuff. Click the stuff. Click the stuff. The end.